Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about few more data flow shapes. Uh, today we will see a filter shape and a data transform shape in the data flow. In my last video I have already explained about the source and destination. In the source shape uh, we configured the report definition and the, in the destination shape we configured the uh, destination as a case so what this data flow is doing is this data flow is fetching the data using the report definition and processing the data that means for each and every input record case got created a test case got created that was explained in my previous video in this video I am going to add a few more shapes so I have a requirement. My requirement is process the records only how many number of records. For example, I have a 50 records out of these 50 records. Uh, some of the records having the PY status work. That means K status is new. Some of the records having the PY status work is open. So I want to filter based on the PY status work. That means my requirement is I want to process only the records which are having the case status is open. How do you implement this one? So first run this data table total how many number of records we will see that. How many number of records? Uh, 50 and uh, total 91 records total 91 records out of these 91 records uh, how many number of records having the case status is open so blah 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 there are around 30 records and remaining are uh, case status is new case status is new so what i am going to do right now here is go to the loan process click on this plus symbol there is an option call it as a filter and double click on it add a filter condition the condition is a py status py status work py status work equal to open so i want to process only the py status work is open now click on submit and save you can add n number of filter conditions here. Here you can add another filter condition, another filter condition, etc. Okay, so now just I added only one filter condition py status work. Click on submit. Now run the data flow. Action run. Uh, as usually, change the service instance name background processing. Click on submit. Data flow run instance got created. When you click on start, see loan process. See this loan process data flow. First one is a component test. Source is 91 record. Successful records is 91. After that you applied a filter input record is for 91 based on the filter condition. What is the successful records only 48 out of 91 K status having the status K status is open. How many number of records 48 records. Now those 48 records are successfully processed by using the destination. Now total how many number of cases 91 plus 48. So that means uh, when you run this data flow, when you run this data flow out of 91, only 48 records got processed because you applied the filter condition. You applied the filter condition. What is the filter condition? So don't process, uh, don't process the records. Having the PY status work is new process the records having the PY status work is open. Now go back to this data table report definition and click on run. Let's see how many number of total records now 91 plus 48. So this is 50 and this is uh, one more 50 100 and in the next page 
39. So 91 plus 48 is 139. Now see successfully 139 records we are seeing now. So now I hope you understand this. What is the benefit of uh, this filter shape in the data flow? You can also apply the few more filter conditions based whenever you want to filter the input records based on certain conditions. You can use this one and come back to my data flow. I want to tell you one more shape. Call it as a data transform. Click on this one and. Uh, Click on data transform. What is the benefit of or what is the purpose of data transform? Data plus transform. That means uh, whenever you want to manipulate or whenever you want to transform the data before processing, before processing this day, you can use this data transform shape. Now here my requirement is uh, after filter condition. Now how many number of records? For example, assuming last time 48 plus 48, this time 96 records uh, which is having the K status is open. 96 records having the K status is open after filter condition. For those 96 records, I am going to manipulate some data. For those 96 records, I am going to manipulate some data. What is the data manipulation? If you want to add some input properties or if you want to modify some existing properties, if you want to modify some existing properties, if you want to add some input properties, etc. etc. Now my requirement is I want to add uh, some first name and last name. Okay. Data manip. Manip. So click on create and open. So now what I'm going to do is set. Uh, full name set full name equal to uh, same same value set full name equal to so that means uh, for each and every input record i am setting a one property full name suresh tomati okay click on save that's it for each and every input record what happened okay the property is not present click on create the property save Save. So for each and every input record, I am setting the one property value full name. Now come back to here, click on submit. So that means the total number of records which is having the total number of records as per the report definition is 150. Check that first. Run. Go to the second page. 100 total number of records is 139 out of 139 how many number of records having the case status is open for example assuming 90 so that means after a filter condition the total number of records is becomes a 90 for those 90 records that means for each and every record i am setting the full name value is suresh tumati now here what i am doing is uh, what i am doing is uh, add mapping set py label equal to full name i am setting this full name value to one more i am setting this full name value to one case property that means uh, in the destination shape once the case got created and also mapping some of the input record attributes to the destination record full name submit save action run change it click on submit start now come back here so okay so loan process source 139 record successful 139 after a filter condition what is the successful record 96 for the data transform for these 96 records i set the property value full name now 
for these 96 for these 96 records for each and every record one case got created so while creating the case the input value i set it as a py label equal to my full name value suresh tumati now that means uh, for newly created cases for newly created cases if you open that case you can see the py label value what is the py label value so just go back to your app click on test and these are the newly created cases just now open the case because this case got created using that click on clipboard open the py work page py label value is suresh tumati that means you are initializing the data using that mapping you are initializing the data based on that mapping i hope you understand this data transform and filter shapes in the data flow in my another video i will explain the few more shapes i will explain the few more shapes if you want you can manipulate whatever the data you want you can add a number of conditions you can do the data manipulation you can transform the data before going to the destination before processing that record okay i hope you understand this video thank you